Investors, this morning I ate a donut, and I know what you're thinking, AK, how can you eat donuts and still maintain that rock hard body? Well to that I say, not only did I eat that donut, but I spread Nutella all over it. Nothing gets me more excited than Nutella. I started with that donut and pretty soon I was spreading Nutella on the countertop, the walls, my face all over the place. Girlfriend walked by and spread a bit of Nutella on her. Cat walked by and I spread Nutella all over him. Then I threw him up the window cause I hate cats. Eventually, all this spreading reminded me of something. I just couldn't think of what it was. But then I remembered, I'm supposed to teach you guys about risk premium spreads. So today on Fallible, I'll be giving you part two on how the Federal Reserve manipulates financial markets and your money. Once you understand risk premium spreads and how the Fed affects them, you'll see how important it is to keep your eye on the central bank so your savings don't get screwed. What's going on investors, AK from Fallible here. Now before we get into risk premium spreads, make sure you watch part one of this series about the Fed's mandates and tools. That's the only way you're gonna know what the heck I'm talking about in this video. I'll link to part one above. Now the first thing to understand about risk premium spreads is what risk premium actually means. Risk premium is the expected return of an asset over the risk free rate of return. I know that's a lot of fancy words, but basically the riskier something is, the more you get paid for investing in it. Higher the risk, higher the reward. It's the same reason police officers, firefighters, and people in the armed forces have some of the highest paying jobs. The amount you get paid for taking on risk is what we call the risk premium. Take cash for example. Cash is generally considered the safest asset because there's not much risk in holding it. And that's why both rappers and World War II era grandmas love stashing cash under their mattress. But because cash is so safe, even if you skip the mattress and put it in a savings account at the bank, you're still not going to get much of a return for holding it. It offers little risk premium. Bonds are pretty safe too, but they're a bit more risky than holding pure cash. Interest rate changes, defaults, Trump. Because of risks like those, you actually get paid more to hold bonds. And it makes sense that you're paid more because otherwise why would you want the riskier asset? You wouldn't do something risky like eating a Tide Pod unless someone was paying you, right? So bonds have a larger risk premium than cash. And then of course you have other riskier assets like stocks. They give you the highest returns, but they also have the highest risk because of things like market crashes. So stocks have some of the largest risk premium. When you put these different risk premiums together, you get something like this. Now when we talk about risk premium spreads, we're talking about the difference between the risk premium of each asset. The difference is the spread. So the whole point of investing is to split your money between different assets. The goal is a nice mix that diversifies your risk and gives you decent returns. But this is where the Fed comes in and starts manipulating things worse than an overprotective mother. Like I explained in part one of this series, the Fed tries to achieve its mandates by controlling interest rates. But the interest rate changes they make ends up screwing up the risk premiums of all these assets, which in turn forces people to shift their investments around. So say the Fed decides to lower interest rates. That means you get less return than you normally would investing in bonds. But a lower return may screw up your retirement plan. So you're forced to skip bonds and invest in something riskier like stocks just so you can get the returns that you need. And everybody else looking to retire is in the same boat with you. They got to move out of bonds and into stocks too. And this becomes a problem because all these people buying stocks pushes valuations much higher. Shares start getting real expensive. And that means you start paying more and more for returns. Say you originally pay $4 for a stock that's supposed to return $2. That's a fantastic 50% return on your investment. But if that same stock gets bid up to $10 for still only a $2 return, then at that point you're only getting a 20% return on your investment. The risk premium of stocks goes down as they get more expensive. So eventually if everyone is getting less risk premium on riskier assets, the spreads we've been talking about start to compress. They can get tight enough to the point that the return on risky assets like stocks are barely above the return on risk-free assets like cash. And why would you even buy stocks at that point? This is the environment we're currently in as investors. The Fed has kept interest rates low for so long that now we have sky high valuations in the stock market. But eventually there has to be a large correction to reset these spreads. And we'll likely see that happen once interest rates start rising again, which they're doing right now. And once again, just to drive the point home, who controls those interest rates? Yeah, yup, it's the Fed. So you can see how the Fed manipulates markets and your investments. The way they control interest rates is a key factor in creating both bull and bear markets. And that's why it pays to understand what they're doing so you can make the right investments. And it's honestly not hard to predict what they'll do because the whole idea of the Fed and risk premium spreads, it all plays into the bigger idea of debt cycles. 
And once you understand death cycles, you'll understand not only how the Fed works, but how the entire economy works. I'll be explaining these death cycles in a future video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is released. In the meantime, stay fallible investors. Bye. Uh, 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 uh,